What if I told you that there was a secret tool that motorcyclists can use to become absolute legends at mastering the art of riding a motorcycle? The same secret weapon will stop you from dropping your motorcycle if you're sitting behind that one guy in his Skoro Skoro car doing 20 k's an hour in a 60 zone with more smoke coming out of the exhaust than what you would find at a vape con. The same secret weapon that'll help you pull semi-dank or even not so dank nooners. Well, let me tell you, I know what that secret weapon is and I want to share it with you today. But two weeks ago, I released a video where I had a rage because there were two guys on a motorbike that were learning how to ride a motorcycle on the public streets. And I was like, no man, you guys have got to get into the parking lot and actually do something with your, you know, learn in a parking lot, right? And so I decided to put together a little exercise booklet, some basic exercises that I do. So this video is actually designed to complement that booklet. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you go check the description? There is a link to my Patreon where you can download the free PDF booklet. You can look through the exercises and you can see the kinds of things that I'm doing. And in there I mentioned that there is a technique called the friction zone or clutch modulation. And this is the exact secret weapon that I'm talking about. And the thing that I love the most about the friction zone is it's actually something that is 100% invisible. You don't know where it is unless you're actually sitting on a motorcycle and you feel it. So check this, right? Pretty sure, yeah, 360 camera, you can see it, right? So if I'm sitting here on the bike, like I am now, and I start to ease my hand out. You see how it wants to lurch the bike forward. I'm not, I'm not using my legs. If I can do this nice and easy, no gas, no legs. See how the bike moves forward? It's all the friction zone, man. <laughs> that must look so awkward. I can't wait to see what that looked like. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, check that, check that. This is all friction zone. This is probably not the safest way to prove it because I've got like no handlebar movement. It's all the friction zone that's moving the bike forward. It is the tool to get the bike from a low state of movement to a high state of movement with great control. Now, a couple of easy ways to master this, and this is like if you're an absolute, absolute, absolute beginner, first time you've ever gotten on a motorcycle. What I would do, this is me personally, I would go and find yourself a parking lot like this with a slight incline. And this is sort of favorable to me. I prefer having a slight uphill for this kind of exercise. And what you're going to do is you're going to sit on the uphill, you're going to start the motor, put the bike into gear, and you're going to slowly ease out the clutch until it starts to take. No accelerator. I've got my foot on the brake just so that I don't roll. See how I, I roll there if I don't put my foot on the brake? and I start to ease out the clutch, right? You see that? Listen how the RPM drops. I pull it in, listen to the RPM. I ease it out. Listen to where the RPM drops. See that place there? That's the friction zone. That right there is the friction zone. I've still got my foot on the brake. But what I'm doing is I'm just simply modulating the clutch so that the RPM dips and I pull it back in so that it doesn't dip. Pull it out so it dips, pull it in so it doesn't dip. And this is pretty much the kind of feel that you want to go for. You want to learn how to master this tiny, tiny, tiny little movement, man. Once you think like you've got in the hang of this, like don't release it too fast because otherwise you're going to stall. Once you got the hang of this, pretty easy, ease out the clutch. And once you get that little tiny RPM dip, release your foot off the brake. See how the bike's moving forward. Again, ooh, I almost lost balance there. A little bit of wind to compete with, it's okay. See that? I'm not moving with my feet. I'm moving entirely with the clutch. So, if you've got that feel, that little, that little pull off, that little initial go, what I want you to do, literally just going to sit here on this uphill. I'm going to ease out the clutch and go uphill. And once I get it moving, I'm going to pull the clutch back in and I'm going to roll back down the hill. A little bit of brake pressure to stop. And I'm going to keep repeating this. Ease out on the clutch, 
go up here a little bit and roll back down a little yeah and then using the clutch I'm gonna come to a stop and go forward again this is how the RPM almost dipped but I pulled in the clutch a tiny little bit so that it didn't stall you're not trying to move fast here the objective is just to understand where the friction zone is you probably don't want to just sit and roll up and down a hill right so what i'm going to suggest instead of just using the friction zone to pull up and down up and down add a tiny little bit of throttle and i'm talking like 500 to a thousand rpm above idle so like if you idle at a thousand get it to 1500 or 2000 rpm by just adding a tiny little bit of throttle and don't rev the bike up to get throttle just be gentle right Get the RPM up and find the friction zone. And just keep repeating. Once you've done that, come to a stop, a little bit of brake pressure and easy on the brakes. You don't want to slam the brakes. Notice how the bike jerks if I slam the brakes. Even in reverse, you don't want to do, do that stuff. No, you're going to hurt yourself, man. You want to take it easy. Take it nice and easy, you see? So, add a little bit of throttle, find the friction zone, pull off, come to a gentle stop by applying the brake. Again, this is just practicing a little bit of throttle, a little bit of clutch control, and your objective is to learn exactly where and how that friction zone works. And you'll see, like, I'm going to kill the engine so I can show this. The clutch lever has pretty much got like a scaled position, right? It's got 0% when it's all the way in and 100% when it's all the way out. And somewhere between about 20% and more, what's it, like there? So it's about 30% to 40%. It's a very small margin where the friction zone actually lives. So that's kind of what you're aiming for, is just to find that little little bit of friction in the clutch. If you're finding it useful, won't you do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, and why not share it with a mate that you think might enjoy riding a motorcycle? Once they realize how easy it is, maybe they'll try it for themselves. Now, once you've started getting the hang of riding with a little bit of throttle in the friction zone, you can actually start doing a couple more technical things. So, for example, now I'm going to add some throttle and pull off, right? And I'm going to do a couple of wide U-turns, okay? And my objective with this is to just feel where the friction zone is when I'm doing my U-turns. Now remember, vision is important, so look where you want to go right and then if I want to be back there I'm going to look and I'm going to use that friction zone to keep the bike upright now that you're starting to give the bike a little bit of lean I got to give you a couple of tips right if you feel the bike is starting to lean over and you pull the clutch in you feel you, you see how the bike actually fell more you want to release the clutch a little bit more to keep the bike steady so watch this right if I let the bike lean over and I pull the clutch in. See how it tightened up there? So I had to use body position just to, fi to catch it, right? To fix my, my uh, mistake. Because I pull the clutch in, I take away power from the back wheel, which is not good, right? So what you want to do is as the bike leans, you want to ease the clutch out a tiny little bit. Remember like that little extra power we needed to get going on the uphill? That's what we want to be doing, right? So we come in here, we let the bike lean over, and we push the clutch out a little bit just so that we can get going again. I should have been recording this in 60 FPS. Would be better. Anyway, I'm the world's worst YouTuber. What do you expect? Like, it works the same left hand or right hand. You lean the bike over, if you pull the clutch, it leans more. If you release the clutch, it stands up, it makes the turn. So you can practice this a little bit while adding a little bit of throttle. And if you feel the bike is a tiny little bit shaky, add a tiny little bit of rear brake, right? The bike has got much more stability when you add the rear brake, but don't stomp on the rear brake because then you'll drop the bike. 
you got to take it easy. Remember, everything about a motorcycle is about being smooth. Super, super smooth. You can't just be like, Wah! all the time. No good. No good. You've got to be nice, gentle, and smooth. That actually brings me to another way to emphasize the friction zone. You see, if I've got the clutch all the way out and I jerk the throttle like this, you notice how it upsets the balance of the bike? When you're in the friction zone, right, like I'm in the friction zone, I'm still moving, but I can rev, and the bike doesn't lurch, I'm not adding any brake, but I'm in the friction zone. I'm not putting it all the way in. I mean, yeah, that would, that would also just let the bike go, but you can see, I'm in the friction zone. See that? Moving forward, I'm still revving, I'm in the friction zone. So, you can add rear brake for some stability, always look where you want to go, and remember, when the bike starts to tilt, ease the clutch out. When the bike stands up, you can bring the clutch back in, and use the clutch to regulate your speed and not your throttle. Your throttle is just maintenance. It's just there, it's like an extra tool. I've got a strong enough bike that I don't need to use the throttle. If you're using a smaller bike, you might need to give it just a tiny, 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 tiny little bit. Like a tiny little birdie, like Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. <sighs> Anyways, before I let my weirdness take over the internet, a really good way to test how well you're mastering the art of clutch modulation is to go ahead and do something called a slow race. This is when you and a buddy line up in a parking lot or an intersection, preferably a parking lot because you don't want to obscure traffic, but you literally sit there and hover in and out of the friction zone as slowly as you can. You guys can't see this right now because of the angle of my GoPro, but I'm moving at zero kilometers an hour. My speed sensor, I stalled. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> See, I told you, even I stole. My speed sensor was reading zero kilometers an hour. Now, this obviously comes with a lot of practice. I don't expect you to do zero kilometers an hour while sitting in the friction zone unless you've had a ton of practice. Woo! Woo! It's okay to not get it perfect. It's okay to spend the time to practice. That is the point of doing parking lot drills and practices. And just, it's to go out there and learn where your skill actually lies so you know exactly how not to ride in the street. <sighs> it's hot, dude. It's something like 33 degrees today. And I'm doing this in full leathers. But I'd rather sweat than bleed, man. Now I know, I promised you, I promised you, I promised you. Clutch and the friction zone was the tool to learn to good, to learn to good wheelies, to learn to do good wheelies. But, full disclaimer, three things you have to remember. First, make sure you've got protection on your motorcycle if you're going to attempt to do wheelies. Don't be like me, do as I say, not as I do. Two, if you're a beginner and you haven't been riding for like a long time and you don't have the art of the friction zone, if you can't do figure of eight between those parking bays, you do not try to do a wheelie. And three, not taking responsibility if you do try and do wheelies. Don't be like, yeah, Matt from Casual Riders says it's okay to do wheelies. You do wheelies at your own risk, you do it on your own bike, and you accept responsibility if anything happens while you're doing a wheelie. So, how is the friction zone the secret to doing wheelies? Well, it's not truly wheelies. The secret to doing clutch-ups, which is like a preliminary phase to being able to do wheelies. You see, you give it a rev, you know where the friction zone is, and then when you rev it, you go out of the friction zone relatively quick. Ooh, that was hard. 
Now, if you're going to do wheelies, remember not to snap the wheelie down with your throttle, but to use the rear brake to bring the wheelie down. So you actually want to be like, rear brake. And don't slam it down again, be smooth. Ooh. That was terrible. See, this is difficult for me, this takes a lot of practice, because I do like subpar little clutch-ups, right? And I come down quite hard. So there you have it. The secret to doing clutch-ups is friction zone. Guys, I really hope you found some of the things I mentioned in this video even just a little bit helpful. The reality is, I can talk about this on YouTube all I like. There's so many other people out there talking about it. But, the onus is on you. If you want to be a great motorcyclist, you've got to get out there and go practice, man. You've got to be responsible, you've got to be clever, you've got to go out there, you've got to practice. And this is, like, beginner or not, man, the only secret to being a good motorcyclist and to staying alive on the motorcycle is to go out there and practice. So with that I want to thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Don't forget about the free PDF download on my Patreon site. You guys can go there, check it out. It's a couple of parking lot exercises. You can take it and adapt it and go as loosely as you want. It doesn't have to be insanely technical. It's why I didn't add any measurements into it so you can kind of get the feel for how things work. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video, man. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you found any value, share it with a biker friend or somebody who's been thinking about riding a motorcycle. Just get them on two wheels, man. It's so easy. It really is easy to ride a bike. If you can ride a bicycle, my oh my, you can ride a motorcycle. In fact, in fact, riding a motorcycle is better than a bicycle. You don't have to pedal! I'm a little bit lazy. You guys will understand that. If you guys want to catch more of these parking lot drills, i got some more tip videos coming in two weeks' time. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss it. And if you guys missed the previous video where I had my little bit of a rant, go and check it out here. I've also linked it in the description below with a timestamp to the part where I'm actually doing the parking exercises. You guys are awesome. I love the fact that you've spent the time to watch my video, hang out with me. Thank you so much from the bottom of, bottom of my heart. If you guys want to support the channel, please check out my Patreon and PayPal links in the description below. Until next time, ride safe.